poking at Stone Cold and all this thing. That'll never happen. Yeah, we heard a couple of stories about that, but see WrestleMania is talking or WrestleMania. WrestleMania is talking about this was in the feed. I said, hmm. <clears throat> Check this out. See what the hell happened here. versus Hollywood Hogan at WrestleMania 18 still epitomizes the dream match, with fans listing it as one of professional wrestling's most iconic matches. However, the same time Hogan was in the WWF, he never faced Attitude Era superstar Stone Cold Steve Austin in singles competition. Which was weird. Join us now as WrestleMania revealed to why Hogan vs. Austin that happened more than once. happened. Every good poker player knows the difference between winning and winning big. A skilled player will maximize their winnings, whereas an inferior player may fail to see the big picture, thus the term, leaving money on the table. Likewise, good wrestling promoters know how to book big angles and melt them for all they're worth, without burning out the fans. Well, sometimes. So why did the WWE fail to put Hulk Hogan up against Stone Cold Steve Austin? According to former WWE creative guru Bruce Pritchard, the WWE was intent on pitting Hogan against Austin. Well, I can tell you from my vantage point, and my discussions were, where are we going to go? Because the match was Austin and Hulk, or Rock and Hulk? However, Pritchard argues the long-term plan was to build to Hogan vs. Austin. I think that everyone agreed that Austin and Hulk were the bigger match that we had to get to. So the feeling was, why not give it to them first? Let's build it some more. That may have been the case, but rumours continued to persist that Hogan vs. Rock was the second choice for the Hulkster's WrestleMania return. If so, why didn't the match happen? In 2012, Austin was asked why he never wrestled Hogan in the WWF. Replying, I don't think I just wanted to ever wrestle the guy, I guess. The answer did nothing to settle the question, instead leading to more speculation oh. as to why. I remember, uh, I don't know if he was angry at him or not, but I remember, uh, I just thought about that ECW promo when he had, uh, uh, the yellow bandana and the shirt talking about Steve Amania. This is Steve Amania, brother. I can't, uh, because I can best remember at that time, uh, this was 94, 95. They've got WCW or WF guys are coming in going to WCW. Hogan, Savage, uh, all the guys. Duggan, uh, even Warrior eventually went over there. Yeah, it's all the guys. Yeah, now um, and you already had uh, Flair over there and and Sting. I remember um, I don't know who was talking about this. Uh, trying to make uh, when when Hogan came in making uh, or not making him uh unpopular, but. Damn, they're trying to put Sting on the back burner, so that wasn't happening. Uh, 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 WCW, that was that was Sting's turf there. Uh, that's, yeah, Sting was the only one who never left. Luger left and came back. Flair left and came back. Yeah, Luger. I mean, um, Sting never left. So, trying to make him garbage, that wasn't about to happen. Or, or not make him garbage, but make him uh, a, a, a secondary wrestler. Know about that. When fans hear the stories of Austin's run in WCW and rumored conflict with Hulk Hogan, it's easy to believe Austin might what have I just been appointed by Hogan. Wrestling lore has it that Austin was promised a run with Hogan during both wrestlers' time in WCW, but the program was canned. One story is that Eric Bischoff nixed it, while others claim the Hulkster felt Austin wasn't at his level. When you add in Austin's comments during his brief stay in WCW, Hogan probably it's easy to see why fans believe Austin drove the karma bus over Hogan by refusing to work with him at WrestleMania 18. During a lengthy promo in ECW, Austin mocked see? Dusty Rhodes, Ric Flair, Eric Bischoff, and Hulk Hogan. This the part I, this the part I remember. Including direct remarks concerning yeah. a program he suggested with Hogan. Subsequently, when Austin was on top in the WWF and Hogan stepped in, the shoe was on the other foot leaving Austin with the power to refuse to work with Hogan. But, over the last few years, there's been more discussion of why the match never happened. Although it should be noted Austin did team up with The Rock in a handicap match oh. with Hogan, Hall, and Nash. I remember uh, something else that was funny. I, I remember that match. I got that on DVD somewhere. Um, I can't remember what Hall of Fame that was, but that, that crap was funny. It looked like they were about to go somewhere. And Austin got on the microphone and said, 
Uh, who want, uh, if somebody wants to see Hulk Hogan get his ass whooped, give me a hell yeah. And Hogan, Hogan had the beady eyes real, 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 real snug. I remember that. If somebody wants to see Hulk Hogan get his ass whipped. I remember, I remember that. And Hogan wasn't smiling. I forgot. Well, the, it was the Hall of Fame, but I don't know, I don't know if that was 05 or 06, but it was funny as hell, though. During the March 2002 episode of Raw, some of this discussion has clouded the possible causes of why the match never happened. During an episode of Jim Ross's podcast, The happened. Ross Report, Austin clarified why he didn't want to work with Hogan at WrestleMania 18. Physically and mentally where I was at, I could go. I think Hogan probably would have been a step or two behind that. That wasn't acceptable to me, and I didn't want to slow myself down. I say that with all due respect to Hulk Hogan, because he's had a hell of a still in shape then. That was my thought process back in the day. Hold I on. didn't think we could deliver. Let me stop him right there. 2002, because he came back, um, what was it, 2002 to 2005. When he first came back in 03, I mean, uh, 02 and 03, Hogan was, Hogan was, uh, good. We talked, talking about, because that was, uh, well, I mean, he wasn't that young, he was a lot younger. But yeah, the 2005 Hogan, I mean, 2002 Hogan, yeah, and we got to like 2007 or something like that, then that's different, but. When he first came back, he was he was he was still uh, still in shape. He was moving. There's also been talk of Austin refusing to do the match with Hogan because he did not want to put Hogan over, feeling Hogan wouldn't return the favor. But Bruce Pritchard disagrees. There may have been discussions where one wasn't going to put the other over, but that was just gesturing and positioning. Ultimately, NWO member Scott Hall battled Stone Cold Steve Austin at Mania 18. Was there any bad blood because Hall knew he was second choice to face Austin? In a 2016 interview, Hall clarified, Austin felt like he should have been wrestling Hulk Hogan, and it would have been fine with me. I would have certainly wrestled The Rock, and I would have been cool with that, but I didn't make those decisions. Vince McMahon did. Vince made the decision to have The Rock wrestle Hulk, and he looked at me and Kev, and he goes, I'll have one of you, probably Scott, wrestle Steve with the other guy on the outside. His remarks support the idea Austin's mind wasn't in the right place, further complicating the possible reasons behind Austin's refusal to work against Hogan. However, around 2005, another opportunity seemed to arise where the two might finally meet. Although the match never took place at WrestleMania's 18 or 19, there were hints it might still take place. A few years later, yeah, Hulk Hogan happened. indirectly challenged Austin during the Hulkster's induction into the WWE's 2005 Hall of Fame class. As the fans chanted one more match, Hogan seemed to be looking at Austin. Any doubts were lifted at the 3rd October 2005. That, that might have been the one where Hogan said he, he's about to get his ass whipped. Hogan asked the fans, what would all these Hulkamaniacs do if Hulk Hogan climbed in the ring with the rattlesnake Stone Cold Steve Austin? Austin followed up at the 2006 Hall of Fame ceremony oh, where six. he inducted Brett the Hitman Hart. Commenting to the wonderful. fans who were chanting both Hogan and Austin's Look at Hulk. I was going through my bag in the back and I found a can of whoop ass with Hulk Hogan. Oh, that's what he it. said. It was something like that. Yeah, the match it was something like that. Materialize, <laughs> leaving fans to wonder why. In recent interviews, Austin has clarified things both on the original WrestleMania matches and possible later ones. During an episode of his podcast, Austin fielded a question from callers, asking who his dream opponent would be. Austin replied, I gotta say Hulk Hogan, because one of the biggest draws in the history of the business. Everybody thought that match between Stone Cold Steve Austin and Hulk Hogan should have happened a couple of years back, and never did. Just for whatever reason, I didn't feel like stepping back in the ring. I think Hogan was ready to go, but I wasn't, and so I never got a chance to wrestle that guy. And it would have been fun to be in the ring with him, because I was watching an old match on YouTube between Paul Orndorff and Hulk Hogan, and watched how Hulk Hogan was down there on the mat, and he was just selling his ass off. Paul Orndorff was just kicking the snot out of him, and then finally, 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 after all this heat, started making that trademark comeback. He started firing up that comeback. The people started going crazy. And I realized this guy wasn't born on top. He worked his tail off to get to the top. So I'd say Hulk Hogan, right off Jump Street. Looking at the big picture, there's ample evidence that Steve Austin had misgivings about wrestling Hulk Hogan at WrestleMania 18. Arguably a combination of resentment over past treatment and perhaps concern Hogan couldn't hang with him. Whichever the reason, Austin seems disappointed in hindsight the match never happened. I guarantee you, if my head had been at a little different place, then by all rights, a match should have happened. 
Well, guys, there you have it. The reason why Hulk Hogan and Austin never happened. Do you think these two could have pulled off a match as good as Hogan vs. The Rock? Let us know in the comments down below. Subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll see you next time with some more wrestling content. Yeah, that's um interesting to hear again. To hear again because um like I said he heard other stuff about why it didn't happen. But yeah, um it could have happened it could have happened. Even though Austin retired no three. If, if both if both agreed, he probably could have came back in uh in oh four oh five. Because cause remember Austin hung around to like what was it like oh six or something like that? He kept coming back, like being the general manager and all this stuff. So yeah, it, it could have happened because Austin was still, even though he wasn't wrestling, he was still getting out there. He was getting, he was getting physical out there. I remember, because like I said, that Survivor Series, uh, stunning everybody, and then um, they tried to get well, I guess in the story, they tried to get rid of him again, and they brought him back again because even when he wasn't wrestling. Those fans go back to that crowd in 0405. He came out there. You know? So I think even one time, I think this is when Cena was just getting started. He he had stunned Cena. It's some show. Yeah. But um Damn, that should have happened. And I don't uh, don't get me wrong, the um Hogan and the Rock is, is is a classic, but you know, they could have had it at um nineteen. I didn't mind seeing Hogan I mean um Stone Cold and Rock. Uh, for a third time, that didn't even bother me. It's Stone Cold and The Rock. But they could have had it um, in 19, or 20, I think 20, Hogan just came out there and talked or something. He didn't wrestle. Yeah. So now he wrestled in 18 and 19. But yeah, man, I, um, damn, uh, that sh seriously, that's, that, uh, that should happen. That would have been because so, they would have been selling the the T-shirts and the figures. They would have had the Stone Cold versus Hogan two pack. That would have been probably worth a thousand dollars right now. You already know that would have been worth something. <clears throat> but damn, that sucks. It didn't happen.